Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me as always. Well, today is an important day for London, isn't it? The mayor elections. Do we get rid of him or not? This is a thing and it all depends on how people think, how people feel about the system, how people feel about Sadiq Khan, Susan Hall, Howard Cox and anyone else that's standing as to what's going to happen. Now, voting is very, very tribal, isn't it? in that we are brought up to believe certain things. We are brought up to realise, you know, there's certain ways of doing things. I know a lot of people are told and programmed into an idea that you can only have one or two choices, Conservative or Labour. Now, what concerns me, and we've seen this in uh, by-elections, is the fact that MPs are being returned to Westminster on the back of a vote where... Hardly any of the electorate is turning out and having their say at the polling booth. Now they're disenfranchised or they have other reasons. I was sent yesterday a, a piece of information, which I, I think is very important to share with you. And it's the vote count within London from, I think, 2016. So if you pull this up on the screen here, and I'll share it with you now. If you have a look, the size of the London electorate, in 2016 was 5,738,498. The total number of accepted or good votes counted, 1,871,632. Nearly 53,000 votes kicked out, uh, rejected, means that the total votes cast, 1,923,884. Now, if you look at that figure against the size of the electorate in London, nearly 4 million people didn't vote. So Sadiq Khan is elected on a majority, 70% of, you know, the people that voted, 1 million 310,143. Now, what what do you think would have happened if those other nearly 4 million people came out and voted? Would it have made a difference? Would somebody else come in? It, I'm showing you this because it's very important that people realise if you don't vote, if you don't come out and have your say, even if everybody turned up and says, I do not consent, then it's going to give them agreement to carry on as they are. More ULEs, more low emission zones, more congestion charge, paper mile, rubbish crime. The list goes on. You, you look at what's happening. So I hope today that this nearly 4 million people, and eight years down the track, there's probably a lot more than that now, actually come out and vote. They've got to. Otherwise, it's going to continue. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, uh, hit the like button on the uh, video, subscribe to the channel, share me on your socials, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.